Good evening, Patricia. How are you? You are mute. Oh, sir. Hmm. Yes, good evening. How are you? Very well. I am fine because I am in San Salvador. Oh. So, San Salvador, I think it, it is uh, less hot than Chalatenango. Yes. Yes. Hi, Sandra. How are you? Um, well, uh, you know, I have received strength from God today because I went to the burial, burial, I don't know if it is correct to say burial of my cousin. Oh. I have just returned. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Sonsonate, yeah? Uh-huh, from Sonsonate. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. But anyway, thanks, guys. Okay, well. And how are you? Well, today trip from Chalate to San Salvador. But the traffic was very heavy, very oh, heavy. Yes, it was. I know. <clears throat> what about you, Patricia? How are you? Ah, uh, I'm not very good, but I, I, I think that um, my day today it was um, better than yesterday. <laughs> oh, good. Yes. Hey, hello. How hello. How's everything? How's everybody? How was your day today? I heard that it was better than yesterday. What happened? Ah, yes. <laughs> ah, because yesterday I had to remember I had to left the class. Oh, you have to leave the class. Sorry, I have to leave the class because um some co-workers uh, send me a uh, uh, screenshot about a notice in the Facebook that uh, a patient that I I attended uh, science about 15 year, these days ago she was lying about um she think that by my she lost uh twins oh by by me but the the truth is 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 not that and i i was um receiving some calls of my uh, from my boss my co-workers and tell me about uh, what happened oh, and, and i don't i didn't know any anything and uh, i have to to answer them about the the, the notice and uh, i have to read it and uh, um my boss uh, um, asked me for uh, for my my opinion about this, and that is so bad for me. And uh, I I I was uh, redacting the my 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 opinion about. Uh, the the issue and i send by whatsapp by to, today i had to 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 make a note uh formal and send uh, my boss again so okay. it was very difficult to me to me for because uh in the facebook she is uh 
uh, she is lying and uh, she is um, ah the truth was a uh, a woman uh, 35 years old right that is his her second uh, lost wow uh, or abort abortion that's her second miscarriage a uh, miscarriage okay uh, when i saw her in, in, by the first time she was seven seven weeks pregnant and wow her baby her babies was died since two weeks before wow. that i and uh, she was uh, hmm? uh, she had the incapacidad i don't know how to say that she had a medical leave she has a medical medical leave yeah leave and for seven days and when when she is in front of me i i try to to do to make a a really di di diagnostic and right. i have uh i have her i make her a uh, ultrasound Right. And I discovered that the woman was pregnant uh, for twins, but they died since about two weeks before. I mean, before you, that... okay, I, I think I don't know. They were dead or they were dying? Because if you mean they were dead, I guess. They had been dead for two weeks already when that happened uh, the twins were died oh okay the, the, the okay so you're saying that the twins were dead ah okay were dead okay and wow. now uh, that was a uh, 29 april wow jeez that's horrible and yesterday she returned to the emergency, but it was so crowd, crowded, crowded, and I decided, uh, following the rules from <coughs> con cariño, the law, nacer con cariño, I have I had to to attend first the pregnant, but the she didn't pregnant because she was not pregnant she was lost wow and now i have that, that problem and i am so uh, worried about it you'll be fine i i don't think that you will get in much trouble that's not that was not I mean, that was not your fault, right? And if you can prove it, I mean, you're, you're going to be fine. It's really hard being a doctor. Like I said, from all the things that you have to do, it's like you have to be yes. really, really careful, right? Really yes, careful about the a lot other, of things. Yes, the other doctors that attended the, that woman, they uh, didn't make the ultrasound to the patient, only extend the medical... Uh, the medical leave medical leave right. and i i decide to ex to examine her um, to uh, very well and for that i said here uh, i can't extend another uh, medical year because leave. Right. medical leave because the babies uh since five weeks they are they were dead already. They were, uh -huh, yeah. Well, that's that's really sad and horrible in every single way. Wow, I'm really sorry to hear that. I'm really sorry. Yeah, no. so I I am uh, so worried because I I had to to leave the class just yesterday. But it's okay. No, don't worry. Don't worry. Okay, you had very important things to do. Thank you for being here. I know that 
that that was a very difficult situation. I'm very sorry to hear that. And I'm very <laughs> Thank I'm very you. sorry for her. I'm very sorry for you. That's horrible. You know, that's yeah. not her fault. I mean, she's yeah, like she's devastated, right? That's yes. Crazy. Yes, she's wow that's 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 wow that's insane oh my god that's that's crazy anyway so um well thank you for being here and thank you everybody else for being here kind of early and i say kind of because you were late guys let's join early right um anyways so guys um welcome welcome aboard so today guys we will talk about a very special topic this is one of the topics that i enjoy teaching because it's it's complex, okay. So if you if you remember, right, uh, unless and even if, right, this is kind of like that comp. It's complex, you know. But I'll make it easier for you. All right. So we're gonna talk about future perfect and future perfect continuous these um this week, okay. So let's see, let's see, right? Let's see what we got, okay. So uh, we're not going to go over will. We're going to go over future perfect continuous. But notice that we have three tenses in the future. What are the three tenses that we have in the future? Future is simple. <laughs> future continuous, future perfect, and a variation of future perfect, which is future perfect continuous, right? We're going to go over that. Okay, but notice... All right, I want you I want you to notice uh, one of the differences between future simple and future perfect. Take a look at the exam uh, the examples, take a look at the at the structure. And I want you to compare them both. So you got future perfect on top and then you got I mean you got simple future on top and you have future perfect at the bottom, right? So what is the difference that you see? The verb. What what happens to the verb? Change the verb. Okay, the verb changes, right? So yes, the verb changes. So which verb is changing here? So guys, all right. So yeah, we have a change in the structure, right? We're gonna go over that. The tense. The yeah. The tense well, of the of the verb. The tense of the verb. Yes, right. Yeah. We have the base form of the verb versus a past participle, right? Yeah. All right. So versus a past participle. So that's that's what we got, guys. Give me one second. All right. So, anyways, so we have um, uh, we have futures. Um, I want you to take a look at this part specifically. Computers will recognize any voice command. You won't need a keyboard versus within 20 years, scientists will have discovered the cure for baldness. So what's the difference between them both? Why would I need to use future perfect instead of future simple? First of all, guys, what do we use simple future for? What is the main use of simple future? to make predictions in the future to make predictions in the future right okay so if i say and also promises right if i say um she will go to the movies tomorrow right we're talking about an action that's going to happen tomorrow do we know when that's going to stop no right we don't. Okay, so that's one of the main differences. Okay, so take a look at this, for example, right? So if you take a look at if if we if we do the uh, if we compare future continuous, for example, right, versus future perfect, 
Future continuous describes an ongoing action. And future perfect describes something that will be completed by a specific time. And this part right here is what makes the big difference between future perfect, future perfect continuous, and, and in general, you know, future, um, future tense, right? By a specific time in the future. So future perfect, guys, needs a date or time of completion, okay? It needs a date or time or, or completion. Future perfect is like this, guys, and there is a reason why it's called perfect. I want you to imagine to, to imagine this, okay? So I want you to imagine that um, let's go future perfect here. Hey, sorry, can you help? I don't know who that is. No. Mm. All right. So, anyways, so Sorry, Mister. That's all right. By the way, guys. By the way, nobody says Mister. Mister doesn't exist in English. Okay, it exists. The word exists. Yes. Nobody ever says Mister. <laughs> all right. Nobody. 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 Uh, you can call me David. Um. Anyways. So future perfect, right? Or teacher, guys. Or coach, um, so, so um, oh my God, I forgot what I was what I was about to tell you. What was about to tell you guys? Let's see if you paid attention. I was gonna talk. I was gonna talk about the usage of future perfect. Future right? perfect, Hold yes. On. When you need a time. Oh yes, time. yes, exactly, exactly. Okay, actually, all right. So I said there is a reason why we call this perfect. Right, I want you to imagine a timeline and pretend and listen to this. Pretend that your present is the future, pretend that you are in the future. Okay, so this is me, right? This is gonna be okay. this is gonna be David in the present, right? I am here. This is David in the present. So this is today, right? This is going to be today. Okay. For some reason, guys, you were able to travel, you know, um, to travel one week in the future after today. That's going to be when? When? So that's going to be next uh, next Tuesday, right? And next Tuesday is what? Next Tuesday is the 16th, okay? So this is going to be Tuesday 16th. So we have two different times here, right? We have the future and we have the present. But... You are here, okay? I want you to remember this part right here. You are here. You are in the future. Okay? So far, so good? Yes. Yes. All right. So now, can somebody please, guys, give me, let's see. Can somebody give me a um a sentence or tell me something that happened to me? Remember that you're in the future, right? So I want you to tell me something that happened to me already. You know, from today, something that I completed until Tuesday. For example, you can say, um, you arrived here. You arrived here yesterday, right? And yesterday, in that case, if you're on Tuesday 16th, right? That was Tuesday 15th, right? Or you can say you had finished like this, right? We're going to use past perfect, okay? Yeah. You had finished your homework before you arrived, okay? Before you arrived today. So you are in the future, okay? You're telling me this. You had finished your homework before you arrived today, right? 
So now, basically, guys, this action finished when? Yesterday, Next right? Tuesday. Uh, no, okay, that was Monday. That might have been a Monday, or that might have yesterday. been a Monday, right? Yesterday was Monday. Okay, let's say that I finished it on Monday 15th, right? Remember, I am in the present, but you guys are in the future, correct? So you're saying you had finished your homework before you arrived today, right? Or you finished your homework. Future perfect, guys, is basically like doing this, okay? It's like you're talking, like you're talking from the future, right? Future perfect, guys, is like, Como que estás hablando desde el futuro hacia el pasado. Right? Pero vos ya estás en el futuro. ¿Ok? Me estás hablando de tu pasado, pero vos estás en el futuro. Now I'm in the past. That's what future perfect is used for. ¿Ok? I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to say, I'm going to use the same example that I got here. So I can say, you know, you will have finished your homework. <laughs> Before you arrive. All right. So take a look at this example. So from here, I am no longer talking in, in the from the future, right? Because the future, I'm predicting, I'm I'm pretending with this sentence, you know, I'm pretending to be here, but I am here. Okay. So you will have finished your homework before you arrive. Okay, so that means before you arrive is a time reference. Okay, that means on Monday 15th. But because we cannot travel in the, to the future, can we travel to the future, guys? No, right? Mm -hmm. We can't travel to the future. So because we cannot travel to the future, I am going to pretend that I can, and this is the way I will do it. Okay? Even if I said something like this, you know, let's pretend that you said, oh, you um, ate a lot yesterday, right? So you ate a lot yesterday. So you said this, you know, you're in the future, right? You said you ate a lot yesterday. So if I want to, if I wanted to say that, you know, pretending to me in the future, I would say, you will have eaten a lot. Mm -hmm. Before Tuesday 16th. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, I can say, I can't even say, you know. I can even say. I can say. Um, you finished. Your exam. Before I finished, or you can say uh, after I finished eating, or you can say after you finished your exam after I ate. All right, let's leave it like that. After I ate, right now, remember I'm talking from the future, right? So this is you from the future. Okay, so you are on Tuesday sixteenth. So when did I, when did I finish my exam? All right, since I'm talking about Tuesday 16th, I'm, I'm, I finished it on yes, that date, right? But I'm talking, I'm giving the specific time, guys. We're not talking about, no, we're not talking about yesterday. We're talking about after I ate. So there is a time here, okay. right? So there is a time here where, okay, so I did, somebody, you know, this guy did the, the exam. Hold on. Uh, 40, 30, 60. So these guys did the exam, right? So you have, you know, they took the quiz and they got a 10, right? Mm -hmm. Whatever. This is the exam. And this happened, okay, probably this, probably, right? Because I'm not giving the specific time. 
But this happened at 5 p.m. Right, this happened at 5 p.m. And and I ate, right? I finished eating my delicious eggs with some beans, you know? I finished eating this, okay? Let's say that I finished eating this at 5.30. Okay, so 5.30 p.m., right? Okay. And all of this, guys, was done when? All of this was done on Tuesday 16th, okay? So if you were in the future, you can say, fine, right? If you were in the future, guys, you could say, you could say, hey, you finished your exam after I ate, right? And actually, actually, guys, this is after I ate, not before. So what happened first? First, I finished eating, right? Don't get me confused, guys, okay? So first of all, first of all, we finished eating, right? So this was done. Right, so this is incorrect here. All right, all right, all right. So this right here was done at 5 p.m., and then this was done, let's say, at 5.30 p.m., right? Okay. So, guys, knowing this information, I want everybody to try to give me an example of a tense of um, an example, guys, of, of simple future, right? Of a sentence in simple future. I'm going to give you an example of the structure, right? So the structure, guys, can be like this. It can be. Subject. Plus will. Subject, the okay, K plus will. Participle. Yeah. Plus past participle. Plus complement, right? It was a predicate. And then we need a time reference, okay? Yeah. That is usually, usually followed by simple present, all right? So for example, I can say, a Larry will have, um, will have um, ended up, will have ended up laughing a lot about what you said, I'm sorry, uh, laughing a lot after, after what you say, okay? Larry will have ended up laughing a lot after what you say, okay? So this means that maybe I am in the future and I say, oh my God, you laughed a lot yesterday after what I said. Right? Si yo estoy en el futuro, voy a decir, uy, te reíste un montón después de lo que yo dije. Right? Pero en ese caso, acuérdate que estoy hablando desde el futuro. Ok? Pero estando en el presente, ¿cómo hago? Yo diría, hey, te vas a haber terminado riendo un montón después de lo que, después de lo que él diga. Después de lo que tú digas. Got it? Yeah. Right? So I'm pretending to you know, to be talking about the past from, from, uh, from, from the present. Okay. Now notice that there is always a time reference. There is always a time reference. Okay. And the time reference is, here is what guys, what is the, the time reference? After, after what, what you say. Okay. Very good. So guys, now do me a favor and let's transform this one right here. Into future perfect. Let's try. It. It's okay if you don't, if you don't feel comfortable yet. Let's try your best to do it. Okay. All right. Let's go, guys. Tell me when you're ready.
Hello, guys. Oh, there you go. Finally working. All right. So let's see, guys. Let's see what you have. So let's start with the people who have their cameras turned off. Turned off. Mm -hmm -hmm. Daniel. So what do you got? Oh, really? Yes, go ahead. Okay. And uh, we will... We will have traveled to Samuel after to leaving work. So you, you said, Luis, what? We, yeah, Luis. Uh huh. We will have traveled. Traveled. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. To San Miguel. To San Miguel. After leaving work. Okay. Luis will have traveled to San Miguel after leaving work. All right. Mm, this is not correct because of two things. First of all, this is not what I asked. Okay. I asked you to trans, and that's okay, right? I have, but I asked you to transform this part right here. Larry, right, will have, I'm sorry, this, this part right here, right? You finished your exam after I ate. So this is not, what I asked, but you gave me a, an example and you are following the right structure of Future Perfect. But there is something that, there is a reason why this sentence is wrong. Mm -hmm. And it's not because of the, it's not because of the structure. The structure is fine. Lewis will have, right? We have subject plus mm -hmm. will plus past participle, right? Mm -hmm. plus you have predicate and then we have a time reference. They Perfect, you know? However, the, the information does not make sense. Luis will have traveled to San Miguel after leaving work, right? So, so that means, okay, so if, if you hear it like that, right? He will have traveled to San Miguel after leaving work. This makes sense if you say like this, Luis... will travel to San Miguel after leaving work. Now, yeah. this makes sense, right? Yeah. Lee, Luis via, viajará o va a viajar a San Miguel después de, salir, después de salir del trabajo. Pero esto, el contexto de esto es lo que no tiene mucho sentido. Luis okay. habrá, habrá viajado a San Miguel as, después de salir del, traba, del trabajo. Right? Okay. Oh. Let me give you another example. Oh, hold on, hold on. Do you do you understand why 
this is not the right example because basically it's saying, hey, you know what? He will be there. And then, you know, he will leave work. And, and that doesn't, that's, it doesn't make sense, right? Like the time doesn't make sense, right? So that's why in this sentence, it's better to say, Luis will travel to San Miguel after leaving work, right? So let's try, yeah, let's hear the other example that you got. A good job, the structure is perfect. Okay, my mom will have a ride. All right, so my mom will have a ride. Will have at, arrived. Ar arrived at home. Arrived home. Before what you think. Before what? Think. Before what you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah. My mom will have arrived home before. Before what you think. Okay. Before what you imagine. Okay. okay. All right. This one is correct. Right. Okay, okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. That that's a good time reference. Okay. Now that, that makes sense. Very good. Okay, guys. Uh, very good. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you. Who has the example, guys, that I asked? Who transformed this sentence? You finished your exam after I ate. Who transformed it into future perfect? Uh, me, teacher. All right, Jenny, let's go. Uh, I will have finished the course, course TOEFL after past three courses more. Okay, so, so then that would be, I will have finished what? The course, the to, course of TOEFL. The TOEFL. Okay, uh, I will have finished the TOEFL. As their past three courses more. After passing. Past three more courses, okay? I will have finished the TOEFL after passing three more courses. All right, that is that sounds right, very good. Very good, thank you, thank you very much. Again, guys, okay, I will have finished the TOEFL after passing three more courses, right? I want you to associate it with this, guys, with this, with this, right? Transform this into future perfect, but that's okay, thank you very much. Uh, Catherine, do you have, do you have an example, Kathy? I'm still figuring out because I'm trying to understand the topic. But okay, no worries. Whatever you got. What you said. I mean, with the example, you finish your exam after I ate. I think is you will have finished your exam after I ate. You will have finished. Right past. Um, past participle, very good. Your exam after I eat. Oh, okay. Right. So it's transformed to simple. To present. simple future, yes. To simple present, yes. Oh, right. Okay. So you're saying, right? Habrás terminado tu examen después que yo coma. Okay. Very good job. Good job. Right. Very good. Plus for Catherine, guys, she got it. Right, very good. All right, so who else got the same example, guys? Who else got the same answer? You will have finished your exam after I eat. Let's see, Sandra, what was your, your answer? Oh, you're, you're, you're muted. My the teacher. <laughs> no, no. Uh, you're muted. La... Patricia, what was your example, Patricia? Well, Chair, I I made uh, an example. Um, I will have noticed about the news after I arrive. I arrive over there. I will have. Now, Not in your it... case, no, I will have mm. found. Doubt 
about the news and then what? Uh, after I arrive over there. After I arrive there. I will have found out about the news after I arrive there. Teacher. Tell me. And the example is you will have finished your exam after I ate. After I eat. You will have finished your exam after I eat. We're saying after I eat because we're still talking about the future, right? Remember that we're not talking about we're not talking about the the past in reality, right? We're we're pretending to be in the future to talk about the past. So it's okay, guys, if you if you didn't get it right the first time because that's just a warm up. Let's go over the structure, okay? So. Uh, is right here okay so i want you to notice that we are going to combine right uh, we're gonna we're gonna combine combine um will have or shall have with a past participle okay this right here will have or shall have we're not going to talk too much about shall have okay with a past participle so, for example, I will have completed, right, a rough draft of the chapter by Friday, right? Habré completado un borrador. A rough is like not, not very elaborated, right? Habré completado un, bola, un, un borrador, más o menos, del capítulo para el viernes by Friday. This is what this was saying, right? Is this going to happen for real? We don't know, right? But we have a deadline, guys. Future perfect. Future perfect needs a deadline, okay? You know what a deadline is? Ultimo the limits. The date, yeah, like like yeah, like the um, the date the, the uh, deadline. Yeah, the deadline, right? The last day you have to finish your things, right? So this is the structure again, guys, right? Subject plus will have plus past participle. We saw the structure, right? We'll have, guys, we'll, all be, we'll always be like that. It doesn't matter if it is a he or if it is an, you know, an I. It will always be simple, uh, future perfect, the future perfect structure plus the past participle form of the verb, okay? So you can say, guys, in multiple ways. You can say it in positive, and that would be, I will have arrived. You can say it, you can uh, conjugate it. You will, you will have arrived, he will have arrived, we will have arrived, so on and so forth. Now, in negative form, we have, I won't have arrived. You won't have arrived, right? So instead of will, you're gonna say, you're gonna say want. Will I have arrived, right? What do we do? To make questions about this, we are going to use the auxiliary that we had here, and we're gonna place it here. It's gonna go right at the beginning. So will I have arrived? Okay. If you wanna have a negative question, you can say, want I have arrived? And that's how you do those questions, okay? So uh, it's for a completed action in the future. Okay, so, okay, well, take a look at the examples that we got here. Uh, I want a volunteer, guys, to help me read the example, the example number one. Go ahead. I will have been here for six months on June 20, 23, 23rd. I'm sorry. I will have Take been, care. tell me, tell me, tell me. An example could be, for example, I will have reached four years of, of age by 20,004. Yes. Yes. I will have turned. That is the right structure? I, yes. Yes, that is, the right, that, that is okay. the right structure, right? Okay. By the time you read this, I will have left. Now the, the, 
Now the second part, the second part is in the second clause, guys, is what's in perfect and simple, uh, I mean, perfect future, right? Okay. We say by the time you read this, that again is simple present, but we're talking about the future. So we're okay. saying, para cuando leas esto, ya me habré ido. Got mm. it? All right. Habré yes. ido, guys, that is futuro perfecto. Exacto. Habré comido, habré llegado, habré amado, habré reído. Got it? That is future perfect. Right? So try to see how you can conjugate those things, right? By the time, uh, I mean, you will have finished your report by this time next next week, right? So that is the time reference. By this time, next week. Para esta hora, la siguiente semana ya habrás terminado. Got it? Mm -hmm. It's a prediction, right? All right. Any questions so far, guys? No, teacher. All right. Nice talk, teacher. Yes. Yes, teacher is. is correct. Good, good. Uh, uh, my my example, Mr. Yes. Teacher, yes. she will have left with them until after midnight. She will have left with them until, until midnight. After midnight. Until after no, then that would be after midnight. After midnight. Until yes. no. Okay. No. Mm. Right. So there is no need for 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 that, right? Um, okay, very good. So guys, I want you guys to. I'm gonna send you. I mean, I'm gonna send you guys some topics for you to talk and practice, and I will be listening to you. Okay. Give me one second. Can you send this pre presentation, teacher? Send us. I don't have a way of sending you the presentation because that that would be like through mail. Um, I can send you screenshots of the the structure. Would that be okay? Okay. Sending you. I don't think. Yeah. I don't have access to my WhatsApp from the computer here. So that's that's the reason why. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, hold on. So I think this one is good. All right, so I'm gonna be asking guys, I'm gonna be asking like random um, future perfect questions, okay? So just let me finish opening the chat room here. I mean, what's up web, hold on. All right, A3. All right, so I think, there you go, guys. So, all right, so I got a couple of questions for you there. So the first one, check your WhatsApp group, guys, okay? Check your WhatsApp group, because uh, um, I sent you some questions there, right? And the first one we got, well, you have completed your project by next week, right? If you have a project, you can talk about that. The second one says, will they have arrived? All right, so let me share this back again here, guys, okay? All right, so, Will you have completed your project by next week? Will they have arrived at the airport by the time we get there? Will she have finished her degree by the end of the year? Will have 
Will he have found a new job by the time the company closes down? Will it will have will it have stopped raining by the time we leave for the picnic? Right? Will they have sold all their tickets by the start of the concert? Will they will you have saved enough money for your trip next by next month? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera, right? So you have basically ten questions. What I want you to do, guys, is try to answer them, okay, with any creative story that you want. For example, number one can be answered like this, right? Will you have completed my uh, your project by next week? Yes. Right? The, the answer will be like, yes. I will have what? I will have what? Complete. 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 I will have completed, completed my project, my project by, next by, next week. by next week. Okay? So this is an answer for number one. Or in case that your real answer, you know, in real life, you would not, you know, complete it, that would be, what would be the negative form? No, no. I no. won't I have, want completed. have completed my project. By exactly, next my project week. by next by week, next week. week, okay? Week. Not the next week, by next week. Next right? week. Very good. So, yes. So, I sent the examples, guys, over to the WhatsApp group. All right. I sent the questions. I, I just sent five, guys, because of the because of the, the, the little time that we have. All right. So, answer those questions, guys, with your couple. But I want you to talk to them, right? You don't need to write them down if you want. That's optional, but you don't need to, okay? I want to hear that you are practicing many answers in, per in Future Perfect because that's the only way you're actually going to you know, say naturally, okay? So let's go ahead and join, guys. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <coughs> Hello, Patricia. Hello, Evelyn. <clears throat> mm -hmm. oh. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. And the first <coughs> question it says, "Will you have completed your project by next week? Do you have any project?" <laughs> um. Yes, I we have. Yes, I have completed my project by next week. I have a well, project. Uh, well, really, um, currently I don't have any project. And so I can say, uh, I have to say that I wouldn't, I wouldn't have completed any project by next week or, <laughs> or this week. <laughs> and uh, what, I, but what about you, Joaquin? Um, I, I have completed my my project ne next week. Um, only that. Okay, and the next one it says, "Will they have a ride at the airport?" But the time we get there, um, they have a ride. I suppose uh, that the that the answer will uh, maybe yes, will yes, they will have arrived at the airport by the time we get there. Or no, they won't have arrived at the airport by the time we get there. Mm -hmm. And another one. Yes. Will she have finished her degree by the end of the year? Mm. Well, in my case, I can say she, but I can talk about my brother. <laughs> I can say that uh, uh, by the end of the next year, my brother uh, will have finished uh, his degree. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. If the answer is negative, uh, uh, she... Yeah, no, she won't have finished her degree by the end of the year. Year. Yeah. No. Mm. Another one is the next is 
will he have <clears throat> sorry will he have found a new job by the time the company closes down mm, okay. yes yes he has yes, found yes he have pardon uh, yes he have found a new job by the time the company closed down or no he he haven't found he won't a new job. he won't he won't no he won't mm -hmm. he won't a new job by the time the company closed down mm -hmm. um. No, he no he won't have found a new job. But the time the company closed, only that I think, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, so let's go to the next one. It is will it have stopped raining by the time we leave for the picnic? Yes. Um, okay, I, I can say that. Yes, it will have stopped raining by the time we leave yeah. for the picnic. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Are you a mute teacher? I can oh, I'm you. sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so, Okay, I'm so sorry. I was talking. I was saying, yes, that is a perfect answer. Really good okay. job, Nicole. Yes. It will have stopped raining by the time. It, I forgot the rest, right? But, but uh, you gave a really good answer. Okay, really good. That's how you answer. Now, are you understanding why we need to use future perfect? Right? It's like placing yeah. ourselves in the future to talk about the past from that point of view, from, from yeah. that point in the future. Okay? Yeah. It's yeah. like imagining ourselves in the future. Yeah. Right? Very good, very good. We're going to go back now because, oh my okay. God, <laughs> this hour is very fast, guys. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, very good. So guys, um, let's wait for let's wait for everybody to be back here. Guys, um, really good job, guys. I know we did not have enough time to practice. We're gonna have one more time to practice on Thursday, okay? Because tomorrow we're not, we're not gonna have a class. It's Mother's Day. So if you're a mother, congratulations. Happy Mother's Day. I have to go because I have a class right now. But I'll see you on Thursday. Thank you, guys. Congratulations, guys.